Hello everyone, it's Benjamin Wara and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to make a camera follow a player in Unity. Camera movement is an essential part of many video game genres and it's important to get it right. For this we're going to be using Cinemachine. Cinemachine is a suite of camera tools for Unity built by Unity. From this we're going to be learning concepts like the Cinemachine Brain, the Virtual Cameras and the Cinemachine Confiner which are going to be useful to achieve what we want. Now for this tutorial I crafted a scene. This scene is a platform with a lot of decoration and this platform has two edges, one in the right side, one in the left side and we also have a player that can move left to right and also has a player animation. Now to begin linking up a following camera to the player we first need to install Cinemachine. For this, from the menu, select Window, Package Manager, and then you should see the Unity Package Manager window appear. Then select the Unity Registry, search for Cinemachine, and install it. After Cinemachine is finished installing, you should see a new packages folder in the project window and also a Cinemachine menu at the top of the screen. To start, go to the Cinemachine menu and create a 2D camera. This should create two objects, a Cinemachine brain attached to the main camera and a Cinemachine virtual camera game object called CM VCam1. Now, firstly, the virtual camera. A virtual camera can be thought of as a cameraman. This cameraman controls the position and lens setting of the main camera, but is not actually a camera. A virtual camera can be thought of as a lightweight controller that directs the main camera and tells it how to move. Select the virtual camera and drag the game object you want the camera to follow into the property called follow. This tells the Cinemachine virtual camera to follow and track the transform component of the game object as it moves across the map. We could stop here, we have a camera working and following the player, but it's important to understand what's going on to have total control of the game. If we make it so that the game window guides checkbox is checked, you can see that there's a lot of things. Now to begin with, there's a yellow point inside of the player called the tracking point that will move directly with the player. And there's also a blue area in which the camera will begin to move and begin to track with a bit of damping. If your player moves fast enough to get into the red area, the camera will track the player one-on-one -on -one and follow every single movement without delay. Now, the Cinemachine Brain. Together with the VCam, the Cinemachine Brain was also created and was automatically attached to the main camera. The Brain is the actual link between the main camera and the virtual camera in the scene. This thing monitors for the currently active virtual camera and then applies its state to the main camera. Now we have a camera chasing the player perfectly. However, because sometimes we don't want the camera to peek over the edges of a level, we're gonna have to be using a confiner. Although this is only for games that require limitations to the camera movement. Now to build it, select the virtual camera and add a Cinemachine confiner from the drop down menu. This will add a Cinemachine Confiner component to the Cinemachine 2D camera. The Cinemachine Confiner requires either a Composite Collider 2D or a Polygon Collider 2D to determine the edges of the confinement. For this, we are going to create an empty game object and we're going to apply a Polygon 2D Collider and expand it into the playable area in a scene. Then check the is trigger property on the collider component and we want to use this collider as a trigger because if we didn't the player will get forcefully pushed out of the collider because two objects with colliders can occupy the same place unless one of them is being used as a trigger. Finally add the collider to the container and make sure to check the confined screen edges box to tell the container to stop at the polygon 2D edges and there you have it. Anyways guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like if you did and consider subscribing for more content like this. Anyways guys, 